What's up guys, it's CarGuru here and this is a tutorial on how to black out your Tesla Model S fog lights. You want to turn your oven on to 300 degrees um, and then you want to basically put the fog light on a, a baking sheet right there, it's some tin foil and um, yeah, it's kind of what you want to do. The reason why I'm doing this is because uh, I hate the way the amber lights look inside of a fog light. I feel like amber just kind of kills the look on, a, on on an all black car. So this is me just trying to take some screws off the uh, the fog light itself. I got this fog light from a salvage car that I was working on, and I'm just trying to unscrew some of the brackets that are on top and the bottom. Look at the shoddy camera work. This is back in the day when I was just trying to get my YouTube channel off the ground. I didn't know how to work a camera, so I apologize in advance for the for the crummy camera work. But this is me trying to shoot one-handed and you know on remove the screws with the other hand it was kind of janky and I'm also in my basement trying to be quiet because I don't want my wife to know that I'm gonna be putting a, a a fog light inside of the oven that's a big no-no so I finally got it out that's the amber I'm trying to get rid of right there in the middle of the light I want to make that black as well as black out some of the chrome like that chrome on the inside I want to get rid of that too so I'm gonna put it in the oven and bake it at 300 degrees for 15 minutes. And once it's out, I'm just gonna put it on that tray. This this fog light's hot as hell, by the way. You can't just, this isn't a simple, you know, hey, you put your hands on it. This thing is hot. I mean, the, the surface of it is damn near 200 degrees. So I was getting burned left and right. Uh, I got my kitchen knives as usual. Uh, while it's still hot, you wanna work your way around it. And it's very dangerous to point the knife towards yourself and stab it, so don't do what I do, please. But you want to struggle with it for a little bit and, um, you know, use a couple utensils to pry it open. And uh, eventually I finally got the thing off. And this is just me trying to unscrew some of the screws here. And and um, my daughter and I were kind of bantering back and forth. So stay tuned for my, my the banter with my daughter. Her and I are going back and forth. It's kind of funny. I like this video because of that. Um, just stay tuned and listen. If you're not really into the whole father daughter talking about random stuff thing just feel free to fast forward it but here's the gist of it right here uh, see my hands doing stuff though oh. <laughs> is this guy on wait are you recording it right now yeah can you hear me yeah hi yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh well as it's like viral you can just edit that out why don't we go ahead and not include any of these stuff stuff no i can talk i just don't want actually no because like if it's my dad and we're talking about a King's Day, we obviously know whose it is because I only have one friend who's like having a King's Day. Uh, let's just hope that we have to block her on YouTube. <laughs> no, I'm probably going to take the audio out of this because you've been so disrespectful. Oh, okay. Are you going to add music in the background? You can add like tunnel vision. No, 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 no. Use a new Drake song. So then when you put it on YouTube and people Daddy. look up the new Drake song, you can be like, oh, Remember? music video too, blah, blah, blah. Then mad people will watch it. Brian, that's a copyright Daddy, issue. I can't just include the song in there. Tomorrow we be like, copyright go. goes to Drake and his team. Like, I'm not, like. Right. How do you, like, give someone copyright? Like, uh, would you be like, oh, like, this is Drake's new song, blah, blah, like, I don't own any of this stuff. I don't know if I can do that. Why not? This is a light. It's kind of cool, huh? There's a single tiny light up there, and it makes the whole thing light up. Do it. Do it. Oh. Boom. I gotta paint that. It's not even warm. <laughs> it's not? The chicken egg was not warm. Is it on? Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> no, got him? Yeah, got him. Got him well. Dad, when someone says all black attire, do you guys wear all black too? Yeah. So, but like, what would you wear? Would you wear like a suit and like, I mean like dress pants and like a black dress shirt? Yeah, maybe. Or would you wear like, like a suit with like a white undershirt and a black tie? I think I mean like black ties and like they have to like, uh, I don't know. Why don't you ask, uh, ask Siri? Because 
because Siri will just direct me to Google. So what is it? What, what do you? What to wear in an all black affair? In case you were wondering, this is just 3M carbon fiber tape, and you could get like a five foot roll of it on eBay for like ten bucks. Are you gonna speed it up? Yeah. Are you gonna post every week? No, Dad, don't teach you how to do this stuff because like they can pay you to do it, and you can make money. Or I can make money off the views I get for watching the videos. You make money off views on YouTube? Yeah. What? Do you? No. Yeah, so people Are do you it. Are serious? You get paid for it, yeah. But to po but posting on YouTube is free. Yeah. So how many, how much money do you get per view? All depends what you sign up for. But you get, you, got, you, got, you gotta get a lot of views to get any real money, but it can be done. Like if you get a million views, you get like five bucks. <laughs> I get more than that. But you have a lot, I feel a lot of videos too. Depends on how many videos you have, too. You have like a ton of videos. If you have like a ton of videos and got like no views. It adds up. If I had a sweet 16, would I have to invite like all my, all my whole family? No. You probably wouldn't invite me. Like what would I go for? You wouldn't go? No, oh, maybe I would actually. Dad, we could be super lit. Yeah, I guess you're right. I figured you wouldn't want me because I'd be like old and decrepit by then. I'd be like on my In deathbed. two years. <laughs> I'd Will like, you even be 35? I'd like, I'd like look like Papa. I'd be old. Not even two years. The end of next year. You'll be like 35, right? I'd be 36. I think. The end of next year? I think so. Oh, how, oh yeah. You'll be like... You're 34? Mm-hmm. That's still not like old. I know, but hopefully I age well. I don't think you'll look that different in the next two I'll years. I'll probably look exactly the same. Yeah. Who knows, maybe you'll, maybe you'll be cool and you'll cut your beard like slightly, like you'll cut, you'll leave one extra hair on your beard in What's, two years. What does that mean? That you won't look exactly the same, oh. but you'll be like just slightly different. Oh. If you're feeling a little extra, you'll let your beard grow like slightly more. This very small square LED board that I'm installing right now is what would normally make that reflector light up amber. But since I put that carbon fiber tape in front of it, it'll no longer light up amber and it'll look completely black. So behind that, it's still lighting up, but you can't see it because of the density of the tape. So in this next shot here, you could see how I blacked out that chrome reflector inside of the fog light housing. All I did was I just took it outside and I put a few coats of uh, Rust-Oleum textured paint on it it actually came out pretty nice. Dad. What? When you were little, is there was there anyone that you wanted to look like? Um. Not my dad. <laughs> oh. So in this clip here, I'm just installing that that light tube back into the fog light, which gives it that kind of nice swooping look um, when the fog lights are on. I actually really like this look. I like the clear against the uh, the black of the fog light. I think it gives it a nice little pop. It makes it look very, you know, industrial uh, at the same time. I really like this look a lot, so I'm glad I blacked these lights out. This is a quick shot of um, uh, both fog lights side by side. It almost seems like Tesla changed the design slightly because I'm not seeing any colors in the newer design. Those are just black wires as opposed to the multicolored ones on the older and the older um, fog lights. So this is pretty much it. What I have to do now is I have to start uh, sealing them up. So this is just some roof flashing polyurethane. I've been using this for a while. This gets very, very hard. Um, some people may not agree with this method and the way of doing it, but I mean, I've, I've done this uh, a lot and I've had you know not many problems at all really with it. It really does a nice job holding the, um, the, the the actual plastic lens in. So I just do a small bead all the way around the fog light itself. And after I'm finished making that bead, what I wanna do is I wanna press the the plastic fog light lens uh, against the fog light. And you, you wanna make sure that it's clean on the inside. You wanna make sure it's clean on the inside and outside because if you have a fingerprint on the inside of the lens and you go to install it, 
that fingerprint's going to be there forever pretty much and there's no way of getting it off and it's it's super annoying but again you want to make a good bead going all the way around it and um, once you're finished going around it you want to really make sure that it that that's as in as much as the creases as possible you want to fill the creases up with this polyurethane and um, and once that's done you you slowly press the um, the, the plastic housing against this and then once you do that it's you're going to get some resistance out of it because it has to form the seal and then there's the actual clips that go around that plastic lens as well and you want to clip those into place you're going to see here in a second where where I do that once I'm finished putting in this um the remainder of this polyurethane but what you want to do is you definitely want to make sure that's in there pretty good uh you want to push it down and and make sure it, it gets a good bond against it. And there's actually these clips that clip over the sides of the, the housing, the one that I'm pressing right now. Uh, once that clips over, it makes sure it gives it a nice good a nice good tuck into that seal. And then what I did afterwards was I had, um, I got some clamps, some plastic clamps that actually hold it into place to keep it pressurized. And once I did that, I let it sit overnight, and I've had zero problems with these fog lights. These fog lights came out very nice. They're, they're very, very successful fog lights, and you know I'm excited to do them again. But I think these came out really good. And um, now that I'm done this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what the finished product looks like when that light tube is lit up, and I think well. it looks really nice. So I'm I'm pretty pumped about good. that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. You know you can fast forward it through my my daughter and I bantering. That's totally fine. I had a really good time making it. And um, you know what? Stay tuned for some more content. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.